say the free world more than once. And I think we're tired of a president standing on foreign soil, bowing to Muslim kings, and apologizing to the world for who and what we are. And it's got to stop. You hear people say, nobody likes America anymore. Now, I teach college. I'm taking a leave right now, but I've taught grad school for many years throughout the state. And I say throughout the state. I taught undergrad school in Tallahassee, Florida, and the Army RTC for a couple of years, but I've also taught the MBA program for several schools. I was the lead faculty for the Global MBA for the Phoenix uh, Brown campuses in the area here where they had a Global MBA program. I had a doctorate in, in management. My students will say nobody likes America anymore. And I like to go up to the board and say, well, let's just list the 10 countries everybody does like. Well, guess what? They can't name any. I like to refer to a British gentleman who once, when asked by the media, was he so defensive of the United States, said it ever so eloquently. Perhaps the best way to take measure of any nation is how many people want in and how many want out. And I think you remember Mr. Tony Blair. I think events of the recent weeks have uh, saddened our country in many ways, lost some of our absolute finest. But at the same time, re the events of the recent months have sent a clear message to the world, both our friends and our enemies. If you're going to be a threat to our country and our well-being and our way of life, it doesn't matter how long it takes or how much it costs. We will hunt you down and we will 